Why hello there, greetings to you. My channel is Wisdom Cries Out and that's what I wanted to reflect and share with you today about wisdom, the wisdom of God. And I'd like to also just share with you a prayer quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just come thanking you for this time and this day and all that are listening right now, that you bless our hearts and touch our minds according to your wisdom and your righteous way. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for stopping by, precious hearts, dear ones. And if you like this content or anything on this channel, please subscribe. And thank, thanks to those who have already subscribed. Again, today my subject is wisdom. And there is a lot of wisdom, but we're speaking about the wisdom of God there's wisdom of the world that we gain as we live, but the wisdom of God is it passes all understanding. So I'm going to quickly go on and start. I'm emulating like you can listen to audio. So this is just reading instead of the audio version of the Bible. Hope you enjoy. I'm starting in Proverbs, the ninth chapter and the 10th verse, and it reads, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Also, I'm going to read with you in Proverbs, the third chapter, and I'm reading the 13th verse through the 26th. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are the ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. The her and she is referring to wisdom. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Thou shalt then, pardon me, then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Thank you, dear hearts, for taking time and listening to this. If you're 
joining in today and I don't know your time zone, but I know that we all can use wisdom. And when we're born, we just not born knowing everything. But God is the God of our salvation and he knows all things. And he's here to help us in wisdom. And I personally, my person, personal testimony is that I have learned so much from God by just reading his word. So I hope that you have a great and wonderful evening or day, whatever your time zone is. And the blessings of God be upon your life. If you believe this, please receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you and take care with prayer. God bless.